Hi, welcome, Mick Fanning. How you going, brother? Good yeah, to see you. Yeah, how's it been? Great, great. You're in California. I'm in California. Uh, just got here a week ago. Uh, here, obviously doing work, but also um, seeing the grandparents that couldn't make it to Australia to see our first child. What's the child's full name? His full name is Xander Dean Fanning. So uh, Xander means to the defender of men. Uh, Dean is after Bree's father who passed away. Um, and then Fanning obviously is we know. a descendant. Like my sons, they surf. Being in the water with them and seeing them surf and feeling that kind of stoke is, is one of the most magical things I've ever felt in my life. I guess people sit there and, and they tell you, oh, you're having a kid, it's the best thing ever. But they don't explain it. And, like, I've done some rad shit in life, like, yeah. done some amazing things, been to amazing places. And it's like putting all those feelings into one day and then timesing it by a million. It was just, like, the actual birthday was, like, mate, it was out of this world. It was incredible. Like I still get so pumped up talking about it. And like, but even then, like you explaining going surfing with them. Yeah. It's like, it's another level. It's like, hurry up kid and grow up, but don't. Yeah. Oh man, I can't wait to snake him. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he's anything like me, you would probably be fading. No, I'm joking. Oh. So we saw a guy get hit by a shark. That it looked like, what was it, green mount? Oh, yeah. That was heavy. That was extremely heavy. Honestly, do you worry about it as a surfer now? Always, always have. Okay. Um, you know, I'm, I I just did a shark doco and I swam with sharks and I was hanging with shark experts and, you know, talking to them about exactly what we're just about to talk about. And I think the root of the problem is it, there's more of us out there. There's more cameras, and so we're seeing See more, them. and everyone's seeing them. Um, but yeah, I, there's something. Something has changed in Oz, I think, just because there has been that many attacks. But um, I guess the one thing that I try and keep pushing is that culling it or killing them out is not the. It's not the it's not, not the, the solution. Yeah. It's it's just it's a knee jerk reaction to what's happening. I feel we need to be smarter and we need to get more data on exactly what's happening with them. Yeah. Um and and figure out why they're migrating to these places and and coming. Because we are in their house. A hundred percent. Like the, the best analogy I was talking to one scientist and he goes if you're in the African jungle, are you going to get out of the truck and just walk through the bush by yourself? <laughs> Shit, no. Yeah. A lion's going to come out. Hyena, like, there's so many things. And, and we just feel like we're obliged to go in the ocean because yeah. we're surfers that we get to rape and pillage it. But really, they're the lions of the ocean, yeah. so they're unpredictable. There was one morning I was so jet lagged and I thought the sun was coming up earlier and I jumped out. And I just didn't feel right, and it was still dark, and so I paddled back in. And then I waited on the rocks for someone else to come out, and it was Otto. And I jumped out, and for some reason there was heaps of fish in the water, and they just kept hitting me. And I'm just like, no, <laughs> just go away. And I was freaked out, and that was like one of my first surfs there and that year, yeah. and, and it, I still remember it. And uh, yeah, Otto was just like, I knew it from that very moment that was going to happen. I was like, thanks, mate. Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys. Thank you. Cheers, was yeah. Good to see you, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Have a surf too. Yeah. Come out to Malibu. For sure. I'd love to. Yeah. Yeah.